Students want value for money, and I suppose the first thing they should be asking is, will I be able to get a job when I get this de degree? Yes, it's certainly true that if you ask people who've put in a UCAS form, what is the number one reason why you want to go to university? The top answer is, I want to get a fulfilling, rewarding career afterwards. They don't want to be millionaires. They wouldn't mind being millionaires, but they don't want to be millionaires particularly. They just want a rewarding, fulfilling career. I mean, time was where if you were clever enough to go to university, um, you knew you would be able to come out of university and walk into a job. But it's just not like that anymore. So you've got to pick your course really carefully. And what this crackdown seems to be on is what they used to call Mickey Mouse courses, courses that, you know, like media studies or something like that, that don't necessarily lead to anything. Uh, yes, well, that, I, I would say that's partly true, but actually the labour market for graduates is still very, very strong. So most graduates do still walk into good jobs, and it's actually stronger even than it was before COVID. Um, and some careers you didn't used to need a degree for, you now do, like nursing. So actually getting a degree is still a very, very good route to a secure job. But you're right that not every course has the same positive outcomes. So what the government's saying is on any advertising, if a course has less good outcomes than others, that should be there up front and centre so people know. Um, there are some challenges with that because uh, if you're a middle-class person and you've had life relatively easy, you know, then you're less likely to drop out of your course. You're more likely to get a graduate-level job afterwards. If you're from an underrepresented or disadvantaged group, it's, it's just harder to survive those three years of university and come out the other side. And it's not necessarily the university's fault. Yeah. What do you make of the term Mickey Mouse courses, by the way? Like, how would you define a Mickey Mouse course? Well, I, I, I mean, I think it's fair for the government to say a Mickey Mouse course is one where the outcomes are not very good. What I don't agree with is when people pick off courses they just think sound a bit silly and say that must be a Mickey Mouse course, because very often those courses are ones that are absolutely designed for a particular industry, and the industry is crying out for people in that area. The, the courses with the worst outcomes tend to be in the creative arts. So they tend to be uh, around those sorts of jobs in drama and theatre land. But even those are really important to the country because we want a thriving West End. We want thriving theatres up and down the UK. And so, um, you know, so long as you go into those sorts of courses with your eyes open and know it will be harder to get secure uh, work afterwards, it might still be the right thing for you.